What's up, Gemini? This is Obsidian Lotus L. I'm here to do your Are You Ready for Love reading for September 2020. Before we get started, guys, I just want to remind everybody to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. It's always so much appreciated. Um, and I'm still growing my channel, so please, please, please show me the love, right? Um, I'm going to draw three cards from my Starseed Oracle deck for you guys. Um, and these are just extra messages, little messages for spiritual enlightenment for you, okay? Before we get into the actual tarot reading, um, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy. All right, Gemini, Spirit, please provide us with any messages for Gemini Sun Moon Rising for the month of September 2020. Angels, Spirit Guides. Please help us provide Gemini ooh, any messages for the month of September 2020. All right, we got three. You got the love, okay? Codependency and boundaries. So you might be experiencing something that you need to practice um, using boundaries in your life. So maybe there's an energy around you, a codependent energy around you, or this is something you're struggling with, um, but you need to find ba balance, um, have the courage to say, you look, you know, these are my boundaries, whether it's a work relationship, family relationship, friendship, lover, whatever, there's something that you need to address, Gemini, okay, as far as boundaries are concerned. We also have empathic star seed, energetic, um, absorbing what's not yours, okay, energetic sovereignty, absorbing not what's not yours. So this is basically, if you're an empath, then there's no need to, for me to explain this, you know, um, you absorb other people's energy, their feelings. Maybe this is boundaries. Maybe that's what you need to ask uh, somebody like um, if there's somebody that you're showing up for as far as a friend or family or lover and there's uh, a lot going on in their life and you're trying to be supportive. Um, you have to practice possibly, if, especially if you're very empathic, learning when to show up and support and then have boundaries so you're not absorbing all of that energy too, right? Um Share your song frequency of sound and diving deep. So there's something about what's going on with you or has gone on with you that is important for the world, I feel like, to know, okay? Especially if you're an empath, you're a star seed, um, it's time to share your story, right? So whatever's gone on with you, um, if there's some kind of, there's a lot of like, for this frequency, share your sound. You could be a musician, songwriter, singer. Um, there's something about your gifts that the world needs to see. Okay, Gemini? I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading for you guys. So I'm going to shuffle the deck and start the reading. Let me make sure I'm not holding it upside down. Am I? <laughs> am I? Am I? Am I? All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Gonna shuffle the deck for you real quick. Spirit, angel, guides, God, ancestors, and <laughs> ancestors, please. That's the freaking. And I just had some, an energy drink. I know they're not healthy. I don't have them all the time. But good lord, right? Provide us with any messages for Gemini, Sun, and Rising for the month of September, twenty twenty. Close my eyes and I just saw somebody like very light skin but beautiful green eyes. Empress, divine feminine energy. Maybe you're who's a musician, maybe you're somebody that needs to share your story. Be watching. All right. All right, eight of wands, but it's in reverse. So movement is on pause, right? For you, um, four of coins, this is money. Eight of cups in reverse. King of cups. The hangman. Mm 
Nine of Wands. Okay. The overall energy is the Page of Coins. Okay. For you, the Page of Coins, we have money news. Um, uh, this also could be uh, news, money news about a child, but um, I feel like this is like a new job, money news. Maybe it's not the best job in the world. Okay. But it's good enough for now coming in for you. Um, we have the eight of wands in reverse. Okay. This is movement. There's no movement. Right. And then the four of coins, this is a need for stability. Okay. So, and the eight of cups in reverse as well, you're not able to move on. So maybe there's a situation you're in need of stability. You're not able to move on from a situation right now because you're stuck financially. All right. Let me see. Let me get my clarifying deck out, shuffle it and see what we've got for you. Spirit, help us with any messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising for September. Any clarifying messages for Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising for September. What is this? Four of Coins and Eight of Cups in reverse and Eight of Wands. Help us elaborate. The devil, okay. Could be involving Capricorn energy. High Priestess. There's an energy around you, okay? I feel like Gemini and you are already intuitively picking up what the, who this energy is or what's going on. I feel like there's an older female around you possibly that's causing... Um, is trying to, to prevent you from being able to move on for some reason. I don't know if this is a family member that doesn't want to see you succeed or friend or something. There's something bizarre behind this devil energy. But I feel like you have figured this out. You're feeling stuck, but you're also looking for work or money or something to get you out of this situation. You do have the page of coins coming in. I know this is a love reading, but I'm going to talk about whatever shows up for you guys, okay? Um, God, I just cannot get up. Somebody has some beautiful green eyes. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune um, in reverse. I feel like you've had a setback, okay, with this. Um, it's not as bad as some setbacks that you've had in the past, all right? But you are having to work a little bit harder to get out of the situation, and I feel like it's because of this devil energy we've got here. I'm going to pull one more card on this for you, Gemini. Eight of Cups. Okay, this is in... This is upright, okay? The Eight of Cups was in reverse. So I feel like this is you having to work a little bit harder to get out of it, but this is you moving on, okay? Water energy, um, it could be also involving a water sign. Doesn't have to be though, but this is just feeling very emotional. Water is emotion, right? So, um, and moving on, okay? Whatever this is, has made you very sad. It's hurt you, okay? But we do have the King of Cups here in your future um, energy in the up upcoming week to two weeks. And this is very like, okay, you might be emotional, but this is also very emotionally stable. See how the waves are kind of crashing around this man sitting in this chair right here. He's got this cup on his knee. He's very emotionally stable, right? Um, with the waves crashing all around him. Like shit's fucked up, but he's still okay. This is you, okay? Stay in this energy, Gemini. Let's see, what else do we have for the King of Cups for Gemini in their future in the next week, two weeks? I'm going to pull one more. Hermit energy could be involving a Virgo or fire sign, but this is the Six of Wands. This is success, okay? This possibly could be a successful love connection with a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. This could just mean becoming successful with whatever it is that you're trying to get away from, okay? very passionate about whatever it is. See how this person is very, very passionate. Okay. Like she is wearing all red and she's got like, what are these? A hoe or something? I don't know. Somebody tell me in the comments. I have no freaking clue what that is. If it's a hoe, I don't know. I'm not calling you a hoe. <laughs> like she's whacking that shit down there. Right. Because she's like, 
ready for success. She's successfully trying to get through this shit. And that's what you're doing right here. And maybe this is what the Virgo or the Virgo, the, not the Virgo. I feel like there might be a Virgo around somehow in your energy, but this is the, um, the hermit card, right? So whatever you've gone through, you successfully are finding your way out of it through prayer, through meditation, through self-reflection, reflecting on the past, um, thinking about what you want to do, getting answers from God in the universe and, and really, um, you know, becoming emotionally centered. Okay. You're going to be successful. We do have the energy of being stuck though still, right? So I feel like it's, you're waiting on this money. Okay. Somebody's waiting on money, money news. Spirit, help us elaborate with what the hangman or actually, no, it's in reverse. I'm sorry. Um, you're coming out of being stuck. You're coming out of being stuck. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What is this hangman in reverse? Page of Wands. This is another message. Okay. Um, this possibly, uh, I feel like could be a message about um, love. Um, somebody possibly Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but um, something that uh, I feel like has to do with something you're passionate about too could be a project um we do have money news coming in too but this is a message you're going to hear something i think you're going to hear something from somebody um that's going to allow you to feel unstuck okay some kind of confirmation um we have money messages money Messages of money and uh, passion, whether it's love or not. I feel like there is some sort of a romantic influence in this. Let's see. What is this page of wands for Gemini for September? Two of wands. This is uh, somebody very sexually attracted to you. Okay, <laughs> We got the wands here coming up twice now. All right. So. Um, this is a younger energy, doesn't have to be younger than you can just be a younger energy, right? So this is making a de decision, but waiting. Okay. Somebody's looking at you waiting to make a decision. Okay. Maybe they're waiting for you to kind of free yourself up from whatever's going on right now in your life from this conflict, because we have in the final outcome, we still have the nine of wands. So I feel like whatever this devil energy is really giving you a hard time, Gemini. Um, the Nine of Wands is uh, um, having too many burdens, being very stressed out, okay? What is this Nine of Wands for Gemini? Ten of Wands, more Wands, <laughs> a lot of Wands, right? So I feel like, Gemini, you aren't going to be alone long because there are too many Wands out on the table. <laughs> Um, this is very, very, uh, you know, there's a lot of anxiety and too many burdens going on, I feel like. So, um, I do feel like you're going to be getting out of this energy, but it's still here, um, as the final outcome. Um, judgment. Okay. There's going to be a judgment in this. I feel like I was about to say, good Lord, there's going to be some sort of a judgment. I feel like with a person that's also helped cause some problems in your life. I feel like this person is either going to be either in some legal trouble or be reaping some karma for some of the issues that caused other people. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, possibly you're going to, uh, this is money. Um, this is inheritance, uh, a large amount of money. There's possibly going to be a judgment with money. Maybe this person was uh, making your life hard because there was some sort of money they didn't want you to get, Gemini. Let's see what else do we have for you, Gemini, real quick. Temperance. Yeah, this is uh, Sagittarius energy, but very, very balanced and full purpose. So I feel like that's a nice way to end it. I feel like this is going to be your energy coming out in the end of all this bullshit, okay? Just stay strong. You're still stuck in this mental prison, right? Um, maybe you need a lifestyle change. This is what this is su suggesting, okay? You're going to reap benefits, I think, from making some changes and being strong enough to make these changes. You're going to have options. This conflict is going to stop, I feel like, for you. We have the three of three. You're going to be celebrating. 
Okay, justice. Um, I'm going to get my yin and yang oracle deck out real quick and see if we have a few more messages for you really quick. For the month of September. Look, love is coming in. Okay, it's still, it's coming. Be patient. <laughs> Self-care. Stay in this energy, okay? It's working for you. Things are working out for you. Fate, detours, divine intervention. Um, I just did Virgo and they got the same too. So maybe there is some sort of an involvement with a Virgo for you. Um, fate, detours, divine intervention. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be reuniting with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Soul tie, soulmate, friend, lover. higher self activation. So whatever your higher self has been activated through this energetic um, self care work that you've done. So when you're praying and listening to the messages that universe and God are giving you um, without you even I feel like thinking about it, your higher self is putting you know, one step in front of the other and continue to be in this energy. It's really um, taking you. Um, I feel like where you need to go. Okay. Yeah, you're forming a solid foundation and structure in your life. Divine timing. Trust in divine timing. Okay. I'm going to get my yin and yang, or not yin and yang, <laughs> my rebel deck out and see if we have a few more messages for you. These are just my rude and crude messages of spiritual enlightenment that have nothing to do with this reading at all. They're just extra. Okay. So, God, spirit angels, ancestors, please provide us with any more messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of September 2020. You're a badass, act like it. You're giving your power away. I feel like you're kind of like, you've caught on to uh, get how to not give your power away in this, this energy, stick to it, okay? Ancient shit is cool. You need some fucking yoga in your life, right? Who doesn't? <laughs> Men, women, whatever. I feel like it's good for everybody. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. So whatever you're kicking yourself in the ass for, Gemini, forgive yourself and let it go, okay? Forgive yourself and let it go. Whatever your involvement was that you're embarrassed about, ashamed of, whatever, there's something I feel like in the situation that you've been in that's made you feel embarrassed, just let it go, right? You've learned lessons in life and that's what we're here to do. Okay. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Don't believe every shitty thought you have, okay? I think this kind of goes along with that, right? So, um, I think we're going to leave it there, right? I think that was a great reading. Um, lots of love and light to you, Gemini. I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support, please. I'm still growing. Um, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, that information is going to be in the description box below as well. Lots of love and light. Until next time, bye.